I'm going to show you here how to chain three sequences together. I'll start with two and we'll see it's the same principle if we want to chain also the third one. In order to do this I can't use the internal clock. I will use an external clock from an LFO from the Phoenix 2 for instance. The thing is we don't have any sequential switch on this modular. I mean on this sequencer. We have sequential switch uh, like hidden into the buffer too. Huh? It's like sequential switch this but it's only for gates not really for CV. Other way with the sw sequential switch able to 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 handle CV we could we could just take the output of the first sequence send it to the input one second sequence input two and oops input two and then switch with a signal here when the first sequence reaches the last steps it switches when it reaches this step it switches again so it would just jump every 16 step and it would be the solution but but it's not for CV it doesn't work and it would be only two sequences anyway we don't have select here huh? to, to switch between two so these are really buffers and this could be used as sequencer switch for gates let's say it like this so what we need to do is use this part where you can run a sequence I'm going to show you this is the first sequence here second third if I say start okay we don't have clock now so I'm going to take an external clock as said because the internal clock would start every would start every sequence and not only the first one. So what we do is taking an external LFO as a clock. Okay. And we as said we we can we have to say run now. Oops. So it will run, you see, every time it gets a signal from wherever, even from the clock, it will start and stop at the end. So what we want is when it reaches this step it starts the second sequence. So logically I would say 16th go on here on the six, second sequence and start it. But it would do nothing until we use the same clock on both. Remem remember you have to clock it. So now I can try And it doesn't work. Why? It's because this signal is not hot enough. So we have to make it hotter. This is a shame actually, because if it would be hot enough, we, didn't, we would not need to, to use more, more functionality here to, to, uh, to spend some function, you know. So what I do instead of taking a buffer, I'll take an attenuator. It will be enough. What we call attenuator here is enough to transform this gate into a adequate pulse you see it's blue one this is yellow yellow it's not strong enough not hot enough to start the sequence so I'll go here and I say okay you take this signal and you start here so I'm gonna start again the first one first sequence and now it's going to start the second one what if we want to loop it then we need to take the end of the second sequence, go to the attenuator, out of the attenuator, into the first, into the run, okay, <laughs> and now it's going to loop forever. I can make it a little for faster or slower, anyway. The same if we want the third sequence in series, so instead of going to the first run input I go to the third one I don't forget to clock it other way it won't work so I use clock input on the third sequence and then I'm now taking the end of the third sequence and loop and start the first sequence when the 16th step is reached I hope it's clear let's try it gonna make it faster 
Okay, and now it's gonna start again here. So you see this is a way how to have these three sequences in series. Of course you could say the third one is only uh, only eight steps, let's say. So you go to the reset here. But it won't start anymore <laughs> because you say start again when you are at eight. So what you can do now is just do like this. I'm gonna start it again. It's just showing you how to to make a sequence which is not exactly this long. You see what I mean? I mean this. Not exactly 48 steps, but less. Okay. So go back, I'll go back to full sequence here. And now the challenge, what we need to do is to use a sequence here, sequence the CV out, so to, to, to send to a, a VCO for instance. I'm going to send it to VCO 1 on the Phoenix 2, okay? And we're going to listen to it. So we hear only the first one of course, but how to do now if we don't have any sequential se uh, set, sequential switch able to handle CV, what we, how can we do it? The only way I can think about is to have a mixer, you know, to send output CV from first sequence, second sequence, third sequence into a mixer. On the Phoenix 2 we have a mixer with three input, like mixer 3 for instance, we can use this one. So I'm sending this output also to the mixer. Okay, it works. I'm gonna make it a bit slow. And the third sequence. So now we have a 48 step sequence. This is how I do. I'm gonna show you now the Phoenix 2. You see on the Phoenix 2, I'm going to mix a 3. I don't forget that mix a 3 is not only from 0 to 5, let's say, or to 10. It's multiplying the signal amplitude by 2, or it's also at an inverting, I mean. So, but it doesn't really matter for what I want to do because I can set it by here. You see what I mean? Now it's hotter as a signal, but I can just... Okay, I hope you get it. Um, let me know if there is something I can explain, or, or which is not... that's not clear enough. What I found, it starts sequence the second, the sequence, the second 